is movie talk. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Over a hundred weekend airmen, members of number 604 squadron of the Royal Auxiliary Air Force, were recently inspected by the King at Buckingham Palace. Referring to the trophy he was about to present, the King had this to say. It's so honouring for you today. We are paying tribute to the whole of the Royal Auxiliary Air Force. His Majesty then presented the Isha Trophy for general operational efficiency to the squadron, which has now won it for the fourth time. At Springbok House, a new hostel for disabled women at Leatherhead, young Elizabeth Moore made a presentation to Her Majesty at the inauguration ceremony. Many generous people have contributed. And much the larger part of the cost has been met from the South African gift to Britain Fund. The Queen then officially opened the building in which disabled women will now receive the industrial training previously restricted to men. Her Majesty inspected the premises and had a talk with many of the trainees. Largely through South African generosity, they will now be able to acquire a trade under proper care and tuition. The East Grinstead Sunshine Home is a nursery school for blind children where wonderful work is being done. Princess Margaret's visit was of course an exciting event in the lives of these youngsters to whom everyone's sympathy goes out and let's hope in practical form. The princess talked with them and watched them at play. She saw how in the case of blind children, play with ordinary toys is also training in self-reliance. Her Royal Highness was naturally greatly touched, as all must be, by what she saw here. A particular example of the confidence that can be acquired was shown by this little boy jumping into space. Six-year-old Roger Williams, having been assured by the princess that she liked strawberries, gathered one for her with great pride. He'd been watching over it hoping it would be nice and ripe for just this occasion. 